In this video, I take you to San Diego's most charming neighborhood, the neighborhood of South Park, next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today, we are in South Park, which is San Diego's most charming neighborhood. Now, it's one of the oldest neighborhoods and one of the oldest urban suburbs of San Diego. Early 1900s, this neighborhood was created. And if you blink, you may just pass this neighborhood. Also borders Golden Hill, which is another popular neighborhood. I go to a lot of popular places like Luigi's and a few Mexican joints over there. For this video, we're sticking in South Park. Now we're on 30th Street and Beach where a lot of the small businesses are. So there are a ton of tree-lined streets over here and your older houses, craftsman style, Victorian style, some mix of the Spanish colonial style as well. First place we're checking out here in South Park is this food truck called the Shawarma Guys. It's off of Grape Street and 30th. This is some of the best shawarma in all of San Diego and you know I love Halal Guys and that type of food but we don't have very many spots in San Diego and I've never tried this and everybody keeps telling me you gotta try Shawarma Guys so let's go check it out. Looking at their menu it looks like they have plates beef shawarma 16 bucks combo beef and chicken shawarma 16 bucks chicken shawarma is a little cheaper they got falafels they got pita wraps they have a nice extensive menu here with fries they also have a california shawarma wrap marinated chicken french fries Ooh, that looks good too might have to try that so i went with the full order half and half beef and chicken for the shawarma fries. Can't wait to dig in, I haven't ate all day yet. And I got a full order so I can take it home and enjoy it more. But it's right next to the bottle house. Excited to try this. And it looks like shawarma guys is open 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday to Saturday. So they're closed on Sundays. Right across the street, it looks like you have a salon, a big kitchen, yoga classes. What is this place over here? It's a learning center, Kinder Mission Learning Center. And then the Target is right across that way. Little neighborhood Target. All right, Jake Asianers, I'm so excited to try this. These are the shawarma fries. I also added chicken to it, so you added about five more dollars to the order. The chicken shawarma served over fries with house gravy and garlic paste. And I'm really excited to try this. This looks so good. The fries are nice and golden. You got like a medium type fries. You can ask for hot sauce. I'm gonna start off with the chicken. Gotta get a couple of fries in here too. Look at that. Mmm. You get a nice curry taste to the chicken. The hot sauce is nice. Nice and tangy. Mm-hmm. I am feeling that. Wow, why I've not been here before, I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna be coming back. Later on in the year, they're opening up their first location, a first restaurant location in La Mesa. So stay tuned for that, maybe we'll check that out. Mm, that white sauce, the garlic sauce, and the beef itself, mm-hmm, wow. And that is some marinated Wagyu beef. Take a look at it. Oh yeah. Beef is nice and soft, melts in your mouth almost. Wow. I don't think I'm gonna eat all of it because you know I'm a weak eater, but I'm definitely gonna keep coming back to this the rest of the night. Mmm. It also comes with some pita bread. You know I'm always dipping that in hot sauce. Let's put some of the chicken on it. Oh yeah, that looks really good. This right here is a definite thumbs up. Wow. So right next to the bottle house, you got the shawarma guys. I'm gonna have to recommend that you get the full order and just take it back to your hotel or to home and eat it later on. I don't wanna leave it in the car, so I'm gonna carry it with me. Hey, what's up, how you doing? So there's this neighborhood Target. I gotta pick up a few things, so why not check out the neighborhood Target? So this is totally a mini Target. I'm looking for some hair product. Actually been looking for a new loofah. There you go. I'm gonna grab this guy. Cool, I had to pick up a loofah and some body wash. Gotta keep my back sexy and bring sexy back. Dad jokes, I got uncle jokes, corny as hell. We're gonna go check out other parts of South Park now. Let's uh, see if we can find the original Bona Forchetta. I see a Piacere Mio, another Italian restaurant right across the way right here from the Target. 
you're gonna love this if you're a dog owner. They have an off-leash dog park called the Grape Street Dog Park. Now it's technically already Balboa Park, but it's on the border of South Park. So all the South Park residents, Golden Hill residents, even North Park residents will take their dogs over here and let them off the leash. And it's got a nice view of Balboa Park area, the golf course, and down to the skyline of San Diego. Your dog is definitely gonna love this place and you're gonna just enjoy these views. And it looks like it goes down to trails over in canyons around here. I can see the Balboa Executive Golf Course over this way. Take your dog out, get him off the leash, get her or him off the leash and just have a good time. Today is the third day of summer and I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna get on my electric skateboard and show you guys around, but I'm gonna stay in my car and skate around. It looks like there's plenty of parking here, but it's like 80 plus degrees, boo-hoo, right? But it's pretty hot. According to the South Park website, there's about 70 small businesses within the neighborhood of South Park. And one of my favorites is the original Buona Forchetta. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the original Buona Forchetta. You can find locations over at Liberty Station, over in Encinitas, and other parts of San Diego now. They, they just keep opening up. I can't keep track. So you have this beautiful patio at Buona Forchetta where you can enjoy your favorite Neapolitan style pizza or maybe some cacio e pepe or some other pasta dish that you may enjoy. I'm telling you, their pizza here. Bellissimo! Around these streets, you'll get a ton of coffee shops, a bunch of upscale Italian joints, and look at this place. This place is called Kindred right here. Really nice spot. And yeah, we're just gonna cruise around and check it out. If you're looking to live here, it's about anywhere from 2100 to 2600 on average for a one to two bedroom place. Maybe even more with inflation going up. There are not very many places that you can rent out over here. They're older houses and you can by bike, get to downtown or take public transportation. Your best bet here is probably the bus or just get a bike and bike everywhere. You can go to nearby North Park, Golden Hill, Balboa Park. You have access to a lot of things, but it definitely gets really hilly around this area too. This neighborhood was established in 1905, not the late 1800s, but in the 1910s, eventually they had class one streetcars coming in and out of this area to get you around town for the 1915 exposition that was happening over in Balboa Park. So this was one of the neighborhoods that that streetcar went through. So streetcars started coming through here for the California exposition, but in 1939 that stopped and I'm sure other means of transportation started to arise to get you around town. But right now I can see planes flying over and a lot of greenery down the streets. There's the Balboa golf course that's nearby. So if you're a big golf fan, you can live over here. But these houses are old. They're early 1900s. They're gonna be a lot of creaking and a lot of ghosts around here. I was actually thinking of combining this with Golden Hill, but I feel like each neighborhood deserves its just due. So for this video, I'm gonna focus all on South Park. But like I said, you may just blink and you pass this entire neighborhood when you're driving around town. You may not even know you're in South Park. There's a lot of times that I've gone here and I didn't even know I was passing through it. I always thought it was either Golden Hill already or still part of North Park. Make sure you know your borders. Uh, the, the, the southernmost border here, I believe is A Street and it's near the, it goes off the 94. And then when Balboa Park hits and that dog park hits, that's the westmost border. It's not that big of a, span. I'm going to show you an image of it right here. Gas prices over here seem to be the same as everywhere else in San Diego. $6.29 for regular unleaded. We're off of Ivy and Fern right next to a station tavern in South Park and a sombrero Mexican food and a place called Sprinkle Magic and Eclipse Chocolate. So there's a ton of nice little small spots that you can check out here. Right behind me is South Park Fitness, but it used to be the fire station, fire station number nine, and they restored it because this is one of San Diego's biggest and growing urban communities. Just like this building right here, it was established 1923. This is the Rose Grocery Building, and it looks like there's a restaurant here now. And this is the Burlingame Garage, and it's now a salon, and it looks like there's a ton of other smaller shops here, like Gold Leaf. Right across the street, you got Cafe Madeline. Looks like a nice old school spot to get some crepes and coffee and tea. And then there's another food truck right here. 
It's called Sabor Amiria. So this is definitely coffee corner. We're off a of 30th and Juniper right now. And you got Dark Horse Coffee Roasters. So here's your Dark Horse Coffee Roasters. And they also have a fall brewing location here in South Park. You saw that over in North Park as well, next to the Friendly. There's Mazzara's Pizzeria. I don't know if he's related to Nomar Mazzara, who's currently playing for the San Diego Padres. And this spot right here is called Mateo. Wow, this looks like a really nice area to have brunch and just hang out on a warm summer afternoon. Also check out this cool little Fern Street mural. Hashtag neighborhood love SD. It looks like this place has happy hour Wednesday to Sunday. $6 draft beer, 30% off wine bottles and small plate specials. Check this spot out. This is Vinyl Junkies Record Shack. If you're into old vinyl and you have a record player, I have one at home as well. I got it from Target. You can buy some vinyl over here. Right now we're walking right by Communal Coffee. You've seen this over in the Oceanside video. And Communal Coffee has a neighborhood shop. They even have a storefront here and like greeting cards, but their coffee there is actually really great. A lot of nice smaller stores over here in this area of San Diego. Check this out. This is Station Tavern and it has a nice outdoor patio. And I understand why they call it Station Tavern. It's an homage to the old fire station, which is right there, which is now South Park Fitness. You also get some really cool art here on the electrical boxes and on the fences as well. Check this out. This actually looks like a little alleyway to where I park. It's like I'm back in Romania. You don't get very many alleyways like this in San Diego. Check out this house, this yellow house with the white trim. These are the types of houses you'll see around here, but they also have bigger style houses, but I'm telling you, it's probably really expensive over here. This is the Warrior Foundation Freedom Station. Are these called fern trees or am I tripping? What are these trees called? Comment down below. I'm not a, I'm not a tree person. In the words of Biff Tannen, Back to the Future, make like a tree and leave. Or young Biff says, make like a tree and get out of here. It's make like a tree and leave, you idiot. So we're not in South Park anymore. We're actually in the gas time quarter. I've decided to go to the Padres game tonight, even though I have to go to this one event, but I'm gonna go get the Jake Cronenworth Crone Zone bobblehead. We're gonna head in, grab that. It's a beautiful summer day here in San Diego, and I'm actually thinking of doing something called Vlogus, where I'm gonna do 31 videos in 31 days. Comment down below, do you think I can handle it and do you think I should do it? Obviously I'll be doing content in San Diego, similar types of guides, neighborhood videos, food videos, maybe even some Vegas stuff, or maybe even a trip somewhere where there's a beach. A lot of y'all know that Bub's is my favorite spot in San Diego, Bub's at the ballpark. That's where I met Maisie Williams once upon a time and I'm not gonna stop saying that because that was my name drop of meeting a celebrity at Comic-Con, Maisie Williams. Great wings here, great fish tacos, and their tater tots too. Since this video is focusing on the charming neighborhood of South Park, I might as well stick with the classic older feel of San Diego and take you over to a brewery that's right next to Petco Park called Half Door Brewing Company. It's a pretty cool spot, look at this. It's in an old house here in the middle of East Village. Check this out, upstairs. They have more seating. There's a lot less people. There's not even anybody up here right now. I just want to sit up on the balcony here and it overlooks the ballpark. So if you want to go to a local brewery and a place that's less crowded with a cool theme in this old house, it's directly behind center field. And I got the media lager, 5.2%. It's a hot 82 degree day here in San Diego. So you already know I had to have my craft beer here. Now the gates don't open until two hours before the game, so 6.40 is game time. It's only about 4.10 right now, so I decided to grab this pint and head in, grab the bobblehead. Then I'm gonna go to that event, get stamped, and maybe come back to the game. This lager is definitely nice and crisp on an 82 degree day in San Diego. So on game days, they don't have happy hour here, so don't expect a happy hour menu on game days when the potters are playing. Check out the inside, there's like a little library den area here. Over here you got a little chimney. And the balcony I was just, I was right over that way. There are the other two kings of San Diego, well besides me and Joe Musgrove, Tati and El Capitan. So I got my Cronenworth bobblehead. But I don't even think I'm gonna go to the game. I'm gonna be honest. I might just go to this event that I need to go to for PBS and watch the rest of the game at home. This used to be Dick's Last Resort. It's now called Happy Does. 
I haven't seen it open before, but look at this. It's pretty cracking in here. Also, Jaycationers, if you want to join my Facebook group called It's Always Sunny in San Diego, we have over 6,500 San Diego loving members there that will help you for your next trip or if you're a local, give you recommendations and news around town. So it's always sunny in San Diego. Shout out to the moderators. If you enjoyed this video of South Park, why don't you check out my North Park series right up here. And we'll see you over there, Jaycationers. And in the words of me, stay traveling, San Diego. Uh...